In this video, I'm going to be making a Betty Crocker, the, the recipe is from Betty Crocker. It's a pineapple upside down skillet cake. What you're going to find funny is that we're not using a Betty Crocker cake mix. We're using a Duncan Hines cake mix. The reason for that is because I was going to make the pineapple upside down cake in this cookbook the unofficial disney parks cookbook so i bought all the stuff for it and when i bought the stuff for it it just said a yellow cake mix so i just picked up a duncan heinz cake um i started reading the directions in this recipe book and you have to have special pans in order to make their recipe so i'll choose another recipe not going to make that but since i already had all the stuff bought um, we, I went to Betty Crocker and looked up a recipe and they have a great recipe and fortunately I have all the stuff for it and Duncan Hines it'll be okay that's what we're going to use so you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees um, and then uh, do that and let me tell you what all you need you need uh, 12 pineapple slices in juice it says from three eight ounce cans. This is one 20 ounce can. Um, you need 16 maraschino cherries, three tablespoons of melted butter, half a cup of uh, firmly packed brown sugar, one box of the Betty Crocker super moist yellow cake mix. I'm using the Duncan Hines, like I said. One cup of, of uh, pineapple juice. So that 20 ounce uh, can, it is almost one cup it's not quite one cup but almost uh you need half a cup of vegetable oil and you need three eggs my three eggs are here so what you want to do is you want to add your melted butter to you can use the uh, cast iron pan or an oven safe pan this uh, the brand of this pan is a green pan and all of the uh, green pan brands are safe to put in the oven we've actually never tried it in the oven before the, uh, the recommendation the first recommendation is the cast iron skillet but they want a 12 inch one we don't have a 12 inch ours is only a 10 inch uh, yeah ours is only i think a 10 or 10 and a half inch and so yeah so we needed a bigger pan ours would have been it would have been too thick i believe so you take the melted butter put it in your pan and then you sprinkle the brown sugar um evenly over the butter but i'm trying to coat trying to coat the bottom of my pan before i go on to the brown sugar okay so here's your brown sugar and it's packed so it's going to come out in a clump um so i guess i'll just do it like this use my hands so now you want to arrange your pineapples in the bottom of your pan like this you know what i might end up i've got another can because that disney parks recipe called for two 20 ounce cans i think i'm going to end up opening that anyway and so i'll have enough juice after all because this is not going to cover the bottom so i'm going to get that other can out real quick so i opened up my other can so if you're going according to uh the how large how many ounces you want you want two 20 ounce cans is how many i'm going to end up using and i poured out some more juice so now i have the full cup that they wanted and so you have your pineapples flat here and then you want to cut them in half uh to go it's said to go up the sides you want to take your maraschino cherries and I have a paper towel because I'm going to wipe off uh, some of the juice. And you want to put one maraschino cherry in the center of each of these pineapple rings. mixer you want to take your cake mix along with your pineapple juice oil and eggs and mix these on low about two minutes this is 
your mixture. Like I said, it only takes two minutes. So now pour this in the pan over top. spreading it out a little bit. You want to bake this, like I said, at 350 for 40 to 40 to 45 minutes. I'll probably go into to 43 minutes until it is um, golden brown and springs back when touched lightly in the center. So we'll be back to show you how it looks. This is how it looks when it comes out of the oven. You need to let it sit for five to 10 minutes before turning it out onto a plate. So you're supposed to go around the edge. It doesn't really look like it's stuck though. It's a good nonstick pan. So. Yeah, it is a good nonstick pan. Uh, so now um, someone borrowed my regular, um, I have a flat cake pan and somebody borrowed it. So this, I have this plate and this is the largest plate that I have. Uh, so just know that you're going to need something larger uh, to turn this out onto because you want to serve it warm. You only leave it, let it lay here for uh, five to ten minutes before flipping it over. So let's see. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, yeah, there we go. So I have one, one pineapple that messed up, it's okay. I'm gonna put that right in place like that and it'll look perfect. We'll never even know that it happened. Okay, it says to serve it warm, so we're just gonna cut it immediately, not waste any time. Do you want, do you think you, each person should get a whole piece of pineapple? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. That's I think a, the serving size is actually like 24. Oh, oh, good grief. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have, we're gonna give a half a pineapple slice. There we go. It's probably pretty accurate for, yeah. for the size. That turned out well. And actually you get a piece of this cherry too. It just fell out. Okay, here we go. Just so you all know, full disclosure, I've never made a pineapple upside down cake in my life. I hadn't even eaten one until a few years ago. Yeah, really. And then um, I made this and I told Kevin, I said, heck, if it's this easy to make these things, I would make this all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. It says you're supposed to eat it warm. The pineapple's still a lot. Mm-hmm. Now you had said that sometimes there's a liquid. Yeah, sometimes there's a little, like that brown sugar and right. butter, sometimes there's extra and it'll kind of run over the side a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you know what, that cake is super moist. Yes, it is. It doesn't have what I would consider a really strong pineapple flavor, but it, it, it's got a run, wonderful texture. Mm hmm I think so, too. I love the flavor of the cake. I That's love what I'm it. saying. The cake is almost, um, it's almost wet. The, the pineapple, it's not wet. Though. No, it's not wet, but it's so fluffy and light that it almost seems wet. Mm hmm mm, That's good. The pineapple's delicious, and you do taste it. And so... Not only did I get a half a slice on top, but you also got it from the side. And so that was really nice. I would say the longer this sits, uh, there might be some um, like liquid. Yeah, there might be some juice. I don't know, because mm. you're supposed to serve it warm. So I'm just not sure. But I think it makes a beautiful dessert. Um, I'd say, I bet you, if you looked up the history of this cake, this has probably been around for ages. Forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wonder when it first came out. Like the, the I was going to say like the 50s, but oh, I bet you, time. yeah, I bet you it's been out longer than that. So, and I would be curious too. I know that this is very popular for Americans. Is this something that you see overseas as well? So, uh, you know, would this be something that, 
you would make in the UK or, or other places in Australia. Do you make this in Australia? Because you sure could, because it's very, very easy. As long as you can get make. pineapple rings. Yeah, as long as you can get pineapple rings. Actually, you could do it with pineapple chunks. In the bottom, it just wouldn't look as pretty. Right. The pineapple rings is, is what makes it, it makes it look like, you know, a groovy, I think groovy, like 60s look, like a Brady Bunch look. This looks like something that the Brady kids would have eaten to me. Yeah, that's um, good. You see, I ate all mine. Uh, yeah, I'm glad you did. <laughs> <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've ever made one of these, let us know uh, if you do anything any differently. And thanks for watching.